So yeah, we are um, we are a um, creative uh, studio uh, working with uh, startups and companies, and we help them to create digital products. And um, we sometimes create products with code, uh, but uh, some of the times it is just makes sense to start with no code. And I think this is a really interesting approach. Uh, because we started, uh, well, previously, uh, previously to reboot the studio, we, uh, my my partner Tony and I, uh, founded a product, uh, a product startup called Cravy. That this was a mobile order ahead app, uh, focused on professionals, so professionals can order ahead uh, their meal, and the meal is already there when they get to the restaurants. You don't have to, to, uh, you can skip the line directly. Uh, and this kind of product uh, involves uh, a huge investment in development and in code. Uh, so we learned the hard way uh, that sometimes uh, there are better there are better alternatives than just uh, spending six months building a huge product. Um, and no code is really interesting for that. So when we uh, when we started uh, reboot, um, we wanted to see. Uh, if no code is uh, is for more than just building a landing page, right? Like the, the the classic example with no code is just for landing page, but we don't we we didn't really want that. We want to create a, a really powerful tool that uh, let us create uh, really complex products. Um, of course, there are limits, but uh, really complex products uh, in a short period of time. I think this is so powerful, both for clients. Uh, even for us, for for launch our own products. So, this is our this is our focus right now in in no code. So, like before going uh, and all, so what is your background? I uh, I just read your you mm -hmm. and uh, you have mentioned you are a product designer. Design. Yeah. So, what is your background? And like before starting a re reboot studio, like you had done a job or like what is what exactly? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have a uh, a weird background because I'm uh, I study law by 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 profession. Uh, I, I cannot I cannot say that I'm a lawyer, but I studied law for years in in the university. But at the same time, I was really curious and really engaged by this amazing uh, tech world, building things. So at the same time, uh, I was in university studying law. Uh, I created my own sign projects on internet. So um, I, I decided that the, this is what I really want. I, I, I don't want to be a lawyer. I, I want to build things on the internet, to design things. And, and so I'm a self-thought uh, product designer. Uh, and this is my, this is my, uh, uh, my background. I then go to a, a classic consultancy um, company, uh, IT company, selling projects for clients. Uh, I get really bored there. I just yes, spent one one year there, but uh, I met my my co-founder Tony in 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 this company. So together we decided to start Gravy. And Tony, uh, he he has like a more classic background. He's engineering and 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 he loves building stuff uh, uh, from very te very technical angle. Um, um, so so yeah, this is uh, this is my 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 background. And one more thing, you have designed that landing page of Reboot Studio. Yeah, yeah, we did. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. But while doing a uh, project over the, in the college, in the university, have you like uh, got your dollar from your project? Have you earned from that or is it just a hobby, complete hobby project? Well, uh, yeah, I, I, I was I was making like... Uh, 300 maybe 400 dollars a month uh i was uh i i created like this kind of uh blog pages where i monetize through adsense uh when adsense is still you can you can you can make some money of it but um but yeah it, it was not completely hobby of course it is for hobby because uh, if i uh if i consider the amount of time invested there and 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 the money i made at the end of the month of course it needs to be a hobby because uh, the other way it, it it was a completely failure but yeah it was a hobby and and the good part of it if i can still make like 
this thing three hundred dollars a month or four hundred dollars a month. Yeah. So, like, how big the team is? Mm. Like- yeah. At at the moment, we are just uh, Tony and I, um, because uh, what we want is uh, work on the on the right projects. So um, uh, we want to to maintain that. Uh, this culture of being a small team, uh, really focused on a project, going deep, really, really depth on a problem, uh, because we really believe that this is the way that you can create great products. Uh, this is something we learned in Cravey, that being a small is not a disadvantage. Uh, many times it's a good advantage because you're faster, you're quicker, you get more involved. Uh, so our vision is, of course, we want to grow. We want to grow our studio, but uh, we don't have like this uh, mindset of being a one thousand uh, uh, one thousand employees company. This is not what we what 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 we want. We want to be intentionally small and 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 work on the right and the right projects. And no code precisely. It's something that enables us to uh, to take on more projects, to work on more things, and being faster. Uh, by using the right tools. So, yeah. What no-code tool you use in the company right now? Yeah. So, we are using, uh, mainly we're using Webflow. I think this it's an amazing tool. Uh, the, fir- the, the first time I, 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 I see Webflow, um, I, I, I thought, well, it, probably this is like WordPress, that kind of thing. But what I really love as a product designer about Webflow is that it gives you the flexibility to design anything you want. So you're not constrained by a specific template like you are in WordPress. Because, right? Because in WordPress, we work with templates. And of course, you can create your own template in WordPress, but it's, uh, but it's, uh, it's so difficult. Yeah, it's so difficult. Uh, so in, in, in comparing to Webflow, in Webflow, it, it, it is so easier. To, to create a lay, the layout you want it, uh, the design you want it. And this is the, the thing that appeals me the first time about Webflow. It, it, it's such a powerful tool. So we use Webflow for, for, uh, for a lot of clients for creating corporate websites, uh, simple landing pages. But for example, we have examples of projects that we have done with Webflow uh, and other no-code tools that we can talk about it. Uh, they're more complex. For example, we created uh, a marketplace like Airbnb uh, using Webflow and, and, and other no-code tools. And it was a real no, uh, two-sided marketplace when there is the uh, people can rent the spaces and you can pay for it, you can book a date. So you can create a really, really complex products using Webflow. Okay. So like uh, as you mentioned, uh, you intentionally want to uh, keep the company small and looking for the completely interesting project. So what exactly you look when someone approaches you? For example, I'm approaching you. So what exactly you look for the parameter? Uh, is there any parameter do you have cited? Okay, if any company approaches us, we will go through these or is com- or you specifically look for the ideas, what ideas are they? Yeah, yeah, this is a really good question. Um, so this is, this is, uh, it has to do with uh, our values and uh, what we think uh, it is necessary to create a great product. So the, the projects we enjoy the most uh, are the ones uh, where we can have uh, ownership. So does it mean that we get involved not only in, in, in the technical side, in, 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 in tech, but also in design? Because for us, a great product is a combination, right, uh, between... Uh, it's not only how it works, of course, the technology is important, uh, but it's also how it looks and how it's experienced. So Tony is uh, really good at really good at tech, and I like pro design. So these two things uh, working together, uh, we believe that this is the combination to create great products. So when when a company approaches us, uh, we obviously uh, get more excited when there is a problem it is a challenge that we can get involved both uh building the tech but also defining how is going to look the pro the product uh, how the experience uh how this looks like what the the user flow these kind of things so um 
I, I believe that we're a little bit biased as a, as a previously product founded startups. Uh, so what we really want is to have like this experience of creating something from scratch every time. Um, normally, we don't go um, to, pro to products just to add, uh, um, you know, like a coding monkey, like, okay, I just need someone who is good at JavaScript and here is a list of tasks and you, you need to do that. Uh, we, run, we don't really enjoy that. We want to, to have ownership uh, and to have a respected voice within the project that we can define uh, how the project works, but how the project looks and how, how it's experienced. Ah, that's, a good, that's a good thing. So uh, as you talk about the ownership, Anna, if someone approach you for the equity thing, uh, if someone, for example, uh, I have an awesome idea, something related to tech, anything, uh, and so, uh, wants to contact to you and offer you equity uh, in the company. Will you will you work or like what? Have you thought about this? Because yeah. uh, uh, like getting equity, uh, it also implicates that you get ownership, you get accountability for that complete project, or what? Yeah, this is something we have we have thought about uh, many times. Um, and I don't have like a specific answer for that. Uh, obviously, uh, it's 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 all about context. I mean, uh, probably is if it's a project that we are really excited about, uh, this is something we can do uh, to 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 have equity on the project. Uh, but I think that uh, as 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 a studio, uh, it's important to to know that. The equity is not going to pay your 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 bill at the end of the month, so you need to be really careful on how do you approach these kind of projects. I think that the the ideal is a scenario is that probably if it's a project that really excites us, uh, we can we can provide like a lower fee, and this is our kind of investment into the project, right? So uh, I don't know, maybe a ten thousand dollar project. Uh, if we really believe in that project and we want to invest, we can do it for the for for half of that of that amount. And this is our kind of investment in that project. So, but yeah, it's a really interesting it's a really interesting uh, uh, thing uh, to 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 consider. So, uh, like, how's your experience with the Webflow? So, do you use Webflow for the building of MVP sort of product, or you? Mm -hmm. Or you have a like full confidence of building a large product, something around that have a like uh, fifty thousand one lakh one lakh uh, customer or customers basically or monthly visitor you can say. Yeah, uh, yeah, it 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 really depends. I I I believe that definitely Webflow is great for building like landing pages, corporate web pages, that kind of a static sites um, that doesn't require like too much, but it's not only because it's uh, it's faster to build, but also because the handoff with the client it's also great because normally uh, a landing page, a corporate uh, a corporate site, uh, it, it's it's gonna change with the time, right? It's gonna change, and and they want to be in control to to go there and edit a, maybe a headline and to add like a you know another text or maybe changing uh, a button. And you can do uh, with a visual editor in Webflow. This is so easy to do. So the clients, when they see that uh, that it is easier, it is not intimidating. This is no code. So you can right away click on the element you want it, and you can uh, change the text, and you can publish, and it's already there. And and the customers uh, love this. So I think it's great for that use cases. But also, I think you with the right mindset, you can create complex products um, uh, up to a certain point, right? Because of course, a, a no code is great, but we need to know where the limits are. And I think it's really great for validating ideas. For example, the, the marketplace uh, that, I, I, that I talk about it, that we built in the studio, this was just a, a, an MVP, okay? Let's, let's see if we can build an MVP, a, a marketplace with no code. And probably this will let us to validate an idea in a few days or in a week. Otherwise, it would take like, like three, four months to build this thing. And even you are not sure if it's gonna work or not. 
So I think it's so great to validate ideas. But when you reach a certain, I think when your project evolves and grows, probably uh, no code is not already there. So you need, you will need to start building your own custom things. But I mean, this is a good thing. It, it means that the project is working and, and that's great. I mean, if you can yeah. afford to invest in tech, this is a great. So with the right mindset, you can create really complex projects in, in Webflow. And one more thing. So like when you uh, develop a piece, uh, develop a website or some uh, product using a coding and all, so there is no retainer fees involved. So you, uh, I hire an IT agency and I ask for them to build a, one SaaS product or website. They uh, charge me and that's it. At the end of the day, they just ship me complete product and there is no retainer fees or something. But in case of no-code tools, most of the no-code tools, and they have a retainer fees, monthly fees, membership fees to even uh, like even the live live the my uh, app. So is it uh, bother the client or is it completely okay? They are okay with the fees and all. Mm. How's your experience? yeah? Yeah, in my experience, uh, um, yeah. So you need to do some trade-offs, right? So if you want something completely custom uh probably the recurring uh cost is going to be low because you can uh do it i don't know with uh, what you mentioned uh amazon web services or you can host in Bercel, uh, uh tools like that that it's completely free at the end of the month so this is a good thing but the 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 development cost it's going to be high it's going to be much higher than using no code tool so on one side, okay, you're saving tons of money uh, every month, but the money you need to put onto the table to develop that, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be much higher than than in no code. And the other side, okay, no code tools, yes, you need to pay every month for each of them, and it, it it's it can be like an expensive build uh, at the end of the month. But the good thing about it is that you just need uh, you don't need like uh, a huge investment to start with. So uh, I think at, I think at the end, still uh, no code tools are cheaper uh, than using like a custom development. Uh, although uh, as, as the project grows, uh, this is something that can really hurt you and, and your economics because uh, many, many no code tools uh, they are built uh, depending on the number of uh, users you have and that kind of thing so as as i said i think no code is great for validating things uh, but probably if you have a pro a product of 1 million users every month uh, i don't think that no code tool uh, it's already there and the pricing model i think uh, it goes against that kind of scale so yeah like who is your is there any your customer who have a lots of user over the no code tool like how many users are there if you can say um uh, no uh i mean the 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 projects we have worked with um this normally that kind of landing pages or event pages uh one time things or corporate pages corporate pages usually doesn't doesn't have uh, as many traffic so i can think in any uh, a specific case uh, that we have created a, a no code project with uh, tons of traffic. I don't think so, but probably the, the, it needs to be examples out there. So, uh, as you mentioned, that one marketplace uh, you have uh, you are working on right now. So, do you is there any way of writing a test case for that too? Sorry, what? Test case uh, testing my uh, so for example in the coding we write a unit test. Uh, we write uh, something, uh, the instrument is in testing and a lot of things. Is there any testing mm. mechanism is there? Mm, no, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, the marketplace that we built, uh, we use Webflow to create like uh, the whole uh, platform, the different pages. Um, so we use Webflow for that. Then we use another knockout tool that it's called uh, JetBoost. Uh, JetBoost is for um, uh, for search, 
So you can, uh, within the marketplace, you can search by things like, uh, I don't know, uh, city or another, another, uh, another parameter. So we use uh, Jetboost for that. Then we use um, uh, member stack, member stack uh, to create like this uh, authenticated site. So you can act, uh, you can only access it if you are logged in, and you can create in Webflow that this kind of logic. The okay, if the user is is logging, I uh, I can show this button or this page, and if it's logged out, I I, I hide it. Uh, so we we use member stack for that. Then we use um, uh, Integromat uh, to 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 put everything together to connect everything. Uh, it's like the glue between all the services. So, for example, when when uh, when a user uh, um, um, does a, a book some space, uh, this is gonna trigger an email that is sent to the to the um, to the to the user and and that kind of logic. And yeah, I, I think we use this. Oh, of course, we use Airtable, Airtable for the database. Yeah, we use these five tools, and and not, not really. We 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 don't. I, I don't know if there is any uh, testing tool for no code, but I think it it, it feels a little against uh, uh, the principles of no code because no code is really visual, right? So you're building, and and uh, at the same time you can use the product. So. I think you test your own pro your own product as you build it. Uh, I don't think uh, in any particular case where um, where a testing tool can make sense, but uh, I would need to think about it. Yeah. And what is the about versioning of or backup of the uh, sites products? So, for example, I build an awesome tool in the Webflow, and someone hacked my website or some sort of. Is there any backup mechanism I can contact to Webflow engineers, or have you encountered such issue? Yeah, I, I've never, uh, uh, I've never contact the uh, Webflow support or something like that uh, because I, I, they, they, they have. I, I, I believe they have a really good support. Uh, but also, they have created so great documentation about the tool, and they have. Like a whole page called Webflow University, uh, where you can learn pretty much everything around the, uh, about the tool. Any any kind of issue or problem you may have, uh, you probably will find the the answer there. So I think they 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 have uh, spent a lot in documentation. This is great because you don't need to ask for things because they are already solved. Um, but I think that if you need if you need to, they they have a really good uh, customer support in case you need it. And have you faced any uh, some sort of constraint or limitation in the no-code tool? Uh, you mm -hmm. feel okay, this should be there, or uh, if it is there, some feature will be there that enhance my productivity and also reduce my time to build up product. Yeah, yeah, we 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 found a a roadblock while we're uh, creating this marketplace, uh, in in. We we did pretty much everything, but the booking system uh, we we couldn't find any good solution to do that. So yeah, just to just to keep in mind that the the way we work this marketplace is there are uh, spaces available. You can rent one space to work from. It is for remote professionals, so they can they can see a good. Uh, a good office and they, they can rent just to work uh, uh, a day. You have a day pass. Um, so of course, uh, before you, you, you confirm your booking, uh, you need to select the day, right? You need to select the day. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, you need to check if the day are available or not. Um, and this kind of logic, um, it, was, uh, it was even more difficult because in our case, one single space can, ha can have different rooms. So each room has its own availability that is different from the general availability. So this logic, uh, we couldn't find a way to to do that with no code. We tried to integrate different tools like Calendly or something like that, but uh, but it didn't work quite well in our case. So yeah, this is this is one main problem I found while while building this pretty complex product. But this is 
this really won the 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 this really was the objective. It's to find where are the limits of no code, and and, yeah, yeah, and we're pretty happy that we could uh, create like a such a complex product like that. But this specific part, uh, we we couldn't find anything to do that. So, so uh, in future you will uh, hire the uh, no code developers, you know. What is the like most important trait you you think of key while hiring someone uh, who can help you in the no code development around? What is the one thing or two thing you will surely gonna check in the prospective candidate or such? Yeah, uh, although although it, it it may seem pretty counterintuitive, I think uh, it's really useful to know code when when using no code. So. The, the the word no code maybe uh, you can feel that okay everyone can using it and 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 there are tools that that yes that they're pretty simple and I think everyone can can learn to use it but when when you're creating complex products with no code like for example again the marketplace it's really useful to have a code mindset you know a, a, a engineering mindset because at the end of the day many of the things that you do with no code they are just an abstraction of of the real code so when you do uh, um, um, database things and you need to relate different tables and you do you need to do that kind of a stuff uh, it can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing or, or why you are doing that uh, because at the end of the day, it's just an abstraction. We're working with data. We have different tables, and and we need to understand the logic behind. So I think that uh, if 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 we were to look for someone to join our studio, uh, of course, it is not uh, like super required. You need to 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 come from an engineering background, but of but but of course, uh, I think it's useful and it helps to 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 work with that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, is this your website, uh, reboot.exclude, is also built in the uh, no-code tool? Uh, no. Uh, reboot, uh, no, we built uh, with a uh, Next.js and, and is hosted in Brazil. This is a, this is a stack, this is a stack that we really love it. Uh, I mean, Next.js and Brazil, uh, an incredible tandem. You can build also theme, awesome things. Um, but uh, in reality, we, we, I mean, we could build this same website in no code. I don't see any reason why we, we couldn't do that within Webflow, for example. Uh, of course, if you have like a pretty complex animations and, and, and motion and things going on there, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, harder to do that. But I have awesome, awesome examples of incredible pages built with Webflow and they use uh, that kind of animation, motion. It is great. For example, uh, one page I really like a lot is uh, it's uh, metalab.co. They are great. They, they, they are a, a agency, uh, a de design agency. They, they design interfaces for great companies like uh, Slack, Uber, so on. And if you, if you check, uh, if you get, if you check its website, it's entirely built in 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 Webflow, and it has this cool animation. So you, you this is not this is not a roadblock. I mean, you can you can build it in 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 Webflow. So uh, so while talking, so how you scout your clients, or is it like completely networking basis, or like you scout over over the internet, or what? Yeah. Um, well, of course, this uh, this uh, this business uh, it has a really uh, important component of having a great network uh, because at the end of the day, this is B two B sales. Uh, these are sales that it takes time, um, so you need to build that confidence, and this is not something that you can do in just a few weeks. Uh, usually, usually. Uh, so there is uh, there is an important part of building that kind of uh, uh, network uh, of peers, uh, but also we invest uh, a lot in building content. So we we really believe in in I'm inbound marketing. So 
we are we every every week we post a a a publication in our blog uh, where we show something we have learned or something we are uh, uh, working with a client. Uh, we 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 talk about how we build this marketplace. We 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 explain it so everyone can can do the same. So we believe in that kind of thing, the building a community, building content. Uh, of course, this is a medium long term strategy, but uh, we really believe in that. Uh, not only. Uh, not only in doing sales that of course you need to do and you need to spend time on that uh but also in in uh in in sharing our content sharing the word so so people can 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 discover us and of course another another thing that is really key is um uh choosing the right partners to work with choosing the right companies because uh the our goal is to establish medium long term relationships we 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 just don't want to spend one month working with them for a for a for a project. We want to create that project and to be part of the evolution of that project. So this is a really this is another uh, an important an important component of this business. So uh, and one more thing: while approaching to the client and while talking to the client, they do they know already know that there is a no code tool you can uh, create a like product in a like one or one week or so or you have to uh, educate them you have to tell them is there is a no, no code tool and what is the overall experience with the clients are they uh, like okay to easily switch to a cheaper version yeah to the more developer what exactly they are yeah no usually uh a a client has a problem or has a challenge and 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 they need to solve that uh so most of the times they don't really care about the stack you're using uh so you can use uh no co uh, no code or you can use code to do that uh of course we advise uh we advise the client about the different path we can take and 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 which are the cons and which are uh the disadvantages of using each of the solution. For example, if we go with a no-code tool, that's okay. This will let us to be faster and delivering the project. And we can also can keep the 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 scope uh, lower. So the final the final invoice will be lower. But you need to be aware that probably uh, uh, you will find some uh, some constraints when the project grows, and you will need to invest uh, in 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 custom development. So this is a decision they need to to make if they want to start smaller and to validate, or they just want to start uh, investing a lot in custom development. There are many times that you need to do that. I mean, uh, that is not always possible to create a uh, a solution with no code because as I said, you need to have the right mindset. And a lot of clients want to have like a perfect product from, from, from the day zero. And to do that, of course, you cannot do uh, with no code because there are a lot of custom workflows or specific use cases that uh, they're pretty complex and you need to uh, develop each of them individually. Uh, but if you have the right mindset, that one, what, what you really want is I want to ship as fast as possible. I want to spend uh, less money than if I if I custom develop all of, all things. Uh, yes, they are happy with using uh, no code. Oh, great. That's it. Uh, that's it from my side. Do you have anything to say? Let me know. Uh, no, I mean it. It has been funny to be here. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure to to talk about no code. I think it's really interesting field uh, if anyone is interested in no code uh, as i said we have a, a blog in reboot.studio slash blog and every week we post uh, new articles talking about some things no code but uh, another is an interesting thing so uh if you're interested in this field just check it out definitely i will definitely check it out